this is me enjoying myself in my African village. This is how we do it. Egg, is not We see how meat in some places in Nigeria. Means 50, then the rice is 100. And you are eating from this. This is natural, natural leaf. This rice is not the normal rice. It's called Ofada. Ofada rice is preferably eaten with this leaf. It has the kind of scent to it and it's medicinal. Consult your doctor. We are on this mission to cover quick to see how we can get very important needs that will prevent any particular skill. Once we are able to get a very serious bit, Bola, our mission is accomplished. And you can see the way my mouth is treating me. The Ofada rice that I just finished eating is bam. If you come to Abeokuta, enjoy our Ofada rice. <laughs> So basically, this is my second day. This is our second day in Abeokuta, and it's been fun ever since we entered this town yesterday. And uh, yesterday, we did the one for the youth in the city center. Today, we are embarking on a very long journey deep down into Kobakwe, and uh, we are going for the children of the farmers. Okay, so it's been a fantastic journey riding with our daddy and nice people here. This is Kobakwe. We are presently at Kobakwe. Okay, so this is a beautiful place called Kobakwe. And uh, from because we don't even know where we are going to, so we are just going to look at from here we are going to Masha. Masha. Okay, so our daddy is directing us on now to get to Masha. To go to Masha, we are going to be going on bike. So you can see, <laughs> this is our journey to Masha, somewhere deep down in the village of Abelkuta. This is Masha Primary School in Abelkuta. And um, let's just prepare to enjoy ourselves, to see the village lifestyle to see brilliant people helping to grow Nigeria's food. Welcome to Masha. This is the best place in Abelkuta. So we are here in Masha. We want to see the youth leader and the ballet. Because whenever you come into a Yoruba neighborhood, a Yoruba as another tribe in, Ni in Nigeria, Western Nigeria, when you come into the neighborhood of any Yoruba settlement. Uh, if you are somebody that is well trained from the house, you need to meet with the leader of the community. Presently, we are meeting with the youth leader and we are going to be asking for the ballet's place. The village of Masha was so beautiful a place to be, where everyone seems to know a little about each other. And it was fun looking around, seeing the hot babes of the village catching their fun, the mud houses, even the animals were not spared in having a relationship. We started greeting from one point to the other because that's actually how Yoruba men expects you to greet. The compound, the gold, children, the beautiful ones, even the chickens, uh, not like getting the goats. The birds were singing and the lyrics were so beautiful that you just have to look into the sky. 
yet. The sounds, the rhythms were still perfectly sinking. And the man with the dogs, in short, when I counted, there were 12 dogs. Alas, we met the chief of the village and the supporting elders. And they gave us the permission to carry out our mission. Okay. We are here once again at Masha and we have our friend here by name Kende. Kende happens to be a well-trained uh, hairstylist in Lagos. I think she needs to tell you her story herself. Let her introduce herself and tell you her story and what she needs for Cetros Foundation to support her. She's saying that she learned uh, Hair styling down there in Lagos in color. So she is back here in the village because she needs support. She can make beautiful hair. We are going to be showcasing her hair that she's going to make. She's going to make hair. You're going to see sample of her hair. She does natural hair and she does fixing. Emma fixing. Braiding. Braiding. Fixing, fixing, DD, big braiding, wow, small braiding, wow, feathers, um, yeah. wow, Fetting. wow, you can imagine, um, everything, you can imagine, you can imagine Kenny Day with all these things that she knows, she's here in this village and all she needs is just shop, so why should we not support her? If we support Kenny Day, we are also picking her as our representative, our female representative here in Masha Village. Here in Masha Village, Kende will be representing us. She will be helping us to support other youths. And please, you remember we told you that you are going to make a promise to us that you will sponsor three different youths from this village that want to learn and work. Yes. Your, your particular hand work without collecting money from them. Is that a promise? Yes. Do like this and say it's a promise. promise. So, you know the good thing is that today before we leave this village, we are going to pay for our shop. We are going to pay for our shop before we leave this village. So the ball is in our court. It's either they run down now and go and look for a nice shop. We see you in the next few months that you are teaching people, you are making nice eggs for people. And you know what? If we discover that she gets a good shop, the next thing will be for us to assist her in getting washing base. So if you are there, just look out because we are going to also get our washing base. That's if we see that she's serious about this, she needs to get that shop and move your equipment down there. We need to see our equipment in that shop, then we'll know how to assist her on washing base. I don't think it's a big deal. We can actually do this thing, guys. And um, probably when we see that she's serious, by next week we should get a washing base. Let us start to help. So, kill them as of home and all people are equally machine. Cut mass of money, pay my fellow way to go, pay a shake go along my book. The testing with the new song, and my marine shake, and by along, and my marino, we will be the same shake, new. And while we were still discussing with the lady, our uh, dad uh, came in. Uh, he was somehow sick or not strong, just coming back from, I think, the hospital, according to what we heard. So we decided to update him on what is presently going on. Uh, the dad was trying to get her a shop before it took him, and they had to spend the money on. So the illness, but thank God, Cetros Foundation stepped in and it's all ending well. Wow! This is Dal Cetro all the way from Masha village in the most beautiful city in Nigeria called Abe Okuta, under the rock. If you want to experience peace, life interesting, you need to come to African village and Masha village happens to be one of the most the most interesting place to be because here we have youths that are vibrant, that are serious, that are hardworking. But all they need to survive, all they need to be more productive, all they need to enjoy their life and help their family, who are mostly farmers, is just for us to assist them in their creative work. And that is why today we are promoting a lady called Kainde. See the before 
and after of this girl's hair that she's making. And from there, we draw our conclusion on how to go ahead in supporting her. But till then, let's enjoy the flow. She completed this air in just 10 minutes. That is bravo. This is what I call fantastic. And as such, we are going right away to pay for your shop. And that's how you'll be seeing so many youths in this village. They are going to be getting many, many things. So far, we know that they can do what they are doing. people coming here to make nice air uh, boats, uh, uh, natural air, uh, and weave on uh, Kiloruka, who are those fixing, braiding, and all those stuff. And I've also asked her to go and learn how to make a pedicure and mani manicure, facials, and like so that she can be handling it. Okay, this is the receipt. This is the yoga for the <laughs> He's tired. He has been working for, with us this morning. He, he will be in charge of the male. I just want to separate it like that so that female will handle female. Male will handle male. He will be the one in charge of the male. Thank you very much. So we are glad, and now we are going to be going with our brother. I think we've taken much of his time. Um, which which shoe size, Lemon? What? Forty-four. I want somebody to send nice shoes for us here. For this, our tour guide, he has been working. We went up. You will see so many videos. But you won't and one not bolo and all those stuffs. Yeah, how we enter into the this thing. So you'll be seeing us more in Abel Kuta because Abel Kuta people they are good, loving people. They treated us well. They gave us food, they gave us garino, they gave us drinks and it's also nice. So from here, I'm tired, I need to go. Daddy, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay.